Hi guys, this is Kalara Hudson of Wall I Play Designs, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a garter tab for a crescent shape shawl. And for this particular cast on, we have a crescent shawl here that has yarn overs. So this garter tab would work for crescent shawls that use this same increase technique. And for this increase, you simply make a yarn over at the beginning and the end of your right side rows. And then on the wrong side rows, you knit one yarn over, knit one into each of those yarn overs. So that increases every right side row by two stitches and every wrong side row by four. So I will show you how to create this cast on for this type of uh, crescent shawl. Okay, so to get started, we're going to use the same size needle that we will be creating our shawl pattern in and then using the same yarn that you're going to be using for your shawl. The first thing we're going to do for this garter tab cast on is to cast on three stitches onto our needle and then we're going to knit three rows creating that garter tab. So there's our first row. Our second row. And our third row. And now to create this garter tab, we are not going to turn our work. We're simply going to rotate it and locate that garter ridge going down the middle of our tab. And at the very top of that garter ridge is where we're going to be picking up our stitches. But before we do that, we're going to create two yarn overs on our right hand needle. And then carefully, we're gonna secure that with our finger so it doesn't fall off. We're gonna go ahead and go in through the top of that garter ridge and pull up a loop. And then we're going to yarn over our needle and go in through the same exact spot that we went into with that garter ridge. And this, you may find this a little bit tricky. Your stitches are going to want to pop off of your needle. So you can also use a crochet hook if you need to. So we've knit one, yarn over knit one into the top of that garter ridge. Now we're going to do another double yarn over on our right hand needle. And then if you rotate your work here, you can look at the tab. We have our three cast on stitches at the bottom. We're going to pick up one stitch out of each of those cast ons. And again, you want to secure that second yarn over on your needle so it doesn't go anywhere. So this is going to be a little bit tricky. So there's one. And there's two. And three. Again, you can use a crochet hook, a smaller crochet hook, if that makes this a little bit easier to do. Okay, so now we've picked up for our first row of our shawl from our garter tab. And you'll actually have 13 stitches if you count. Um, and you'll be counting each of those double yarn overs as a separate stitch. So before I continue, I'll just make sure I have 13. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13, 13 stitches. Okay, now we can turn our work to the wrong side. And if you look at our shawl here, you'll see that this garter edging we have consists of three stitches, just as our garter tab did. So we're gonna begin by knitting three. One, two, three. And now we've reached that double yarn over and we're simply going to pull that off onto our right hand needle and place it back onto our left hand needle. Now we're going to work a knit one yarn over knit one increase and then remove that yarn over from the left hand needle. So we've created three stitches in one. So we've increased two stitches. And now 
since we're working our shawl in, in stockinette and we're on the wrong side, we're simply going to purl those center three stitches. Okay, now we've reached our second double yarn over and we're again going to slip that off of our left hand needle purl wise, place it back on the left hand needle and we're going to do that same knit one yarn over knit one increase. And now we've reached the knit three of our garter ridge and we're simply going to knit those three stitches to maintain our garter stitch. Okay, so now we will rotate or turn our work to the right side again. And we will go ahead and start our increase of our crescent shawl. So that's knit three, yarn over, and then we'll knit to the last three stitches of the shawl. And you can use stitch markers for this if, if your pattern tells you to. But there is our last three stitches of our row, yarn over for a second increase, and knit three. Okay, so we've turned our work, and now we'll do our wrong side row of our shawl. So it's knit three, and then we'll increase in that previous yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one. And since we're working in stockinette, we'll purl across the row to our last yarn over from the previous row. That's right there. And we will increase, knit one, yarn over, knit one, and then knit three. And then I'm just gonna stop here and turn my work so you can see that garter tab. Okay, so as you can see, we're following that shape of our crescent shawl and we're maintaining these yarn overs. And you can see where our garter tab is right here in the center. And this is just a way to allow you to continue with the yarn over shaping in the, in the rest of the crescent shawl. So that is how I create a garter tab for crescent shawls. I hope this technique helps you guys out. Thanks so much for watching.